Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the F-16 Viper. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, mixed operations. Some seed, some air-to-air, -air, uh, whatever needs to be done, we're going to do it in the multi-role Viper here today. And as you can see, we're escorting some B-52s in. I am going to leave them shortly. We're going to clear the airspace and open the door for these guys. Uh, we do expect to have some SA-3, SA-5s, and a whole lot of uh, NA bandits in the area, which we'll have to clear out with the F-16. And, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we got an F1, uh, 11 o'clock, Mirage F1 off the nose here. Go ahead and put them off the nose here. Although uh, I did receive a ping a little bit earlier from another one about now my one o'clock. So, and you can see there's an SA5 battery there tracking me. And I think there's another F1 over here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He might have his radar off actually. Uh, but I, I am kind of worried that there's like a pincer, you know, move where at least one of these guys is trying to occupy me while the other guy tries to jump me. Uh, I am wary of that. I'm cautious of that. Um, and, you know, oh, there it is. I can actually get, I'm actually getting the RWR from the second guy about one o'clock now. So we'll deal with him shortly. Uh, we got this guy out the nose here at uh, 15, 14 miles for 8,000 uh, feet. And you can see that circle getting bigger on the HUD. That's the shoot cue. He's now locking me up. Pull the nose up, Fox 3, and we'll defend. All right, we're gonna defend here. That shouldn't be a problem. That AMRAM should take care of that guy. We can switch targets onto the other guy, the guy who is pushing me from one o'clock now, who is currently at about I don't know, 10 o'clock. So I'll go ahead and recommit in. You can hear that F1's uh, missile's already trashed because the RWR is clean, no more tone. Got this guy on radar here, locked him up at seven miles, Fox 3. Uh, whoops. Lost the lock and I think I shot at the guy that I shot at earlier. I did, and he just died over there. Alright, well I thought the bandit was, he's now at my 10 o'clock-ish, I'm gonna go ahead and turn back in. Uh, he is locking me, and I currently actually don't have him on radar. I'm not seeing anything here. I already killed his one friend, so that should, you know, kind of ruin his morale. <laughs> but I don't see him on radar, so I don't know, and he's supposed to be right off the nose here. And he's got a missile out. I'm gonna break. I saw him. 12 o'clock high. I saw him. I'll defend this one. Uh, where'd he go? He was up high. Just checking my six there in case there's a MiG-21 on my tail. I thought I saw something, I was just like, did I see some? No. Climbing here, because that guy was up here. And I don't know where he is, and now I'm getting super slow, and I'm getting a little nervous. I don't want this video to end like this right here. <laughs> oh, missile, six o'clock. I see it, flaring.
This guy is on my six. He fired uh, one fox two that missed, evidently, because I'm still alive. But he's up here somewhere. I saw his missile trip. Oh, there he is. I see him. Okay. Now that I got visual on him, he's dead. Because he is basically in a dogfight with an F-16. I can't get tone. I do have a 9X that I'd like to use on him. Okay. Crosses my 6 here. I'm going to reverse that turn into him. Yes, it's dangerous. I'm going to... He Okay, nice. Got under his nose there. Oh, almost hitting the ground here, staying in that flat scissor with him. Reversing turn again. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Almost neutral now. Right above him. Come on, roll. This is the part where he goes out front. Where'd he go? There it is. <laughs> I was like, he's supposed to come out here. There he is. That's it. He's, he spent way too long in that uh, left-hand bank. He's got way too much separation. I'm going to hit him with a 9x here. He is no longer jamming the Wes. Tone. Tone. Fox 2. He's dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So he absolutely ate that um, 9x, but you can tell he's done fighting. <laughs> That's it for him. He's trying to get out of here, but I'm not going to allow that. He's going to have to hold this AMRAM for me real quick. Fox 3. There it is. I was hitting the wrong button there for a second. And he's dead. Splash 1, F11. Or F1, I should say. What's an F11? <laughs> Alright, Splash 1, F1. All right, let's continue on. Those two F1s could have actually had me if they... Oh, look at this. MiG-29 ping right there. They could have actually had me if they timed their attack a little bit better, but one of them got to me faster than the other, and I killed them. Uh, and then here's their buddy, Mick29, who's also late to the party. Got him at 10 miles, and he's going to absolutely die. Let's get a little closer here. Okay, Fox 3 at like 7 miles. There we go. That's off. And we'll defend here. That MiG-29 is so dead, because that missile tracked too, there's no way he survives that. There's just no way... there he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's really breaking up, eh? Whoa. Wait, he's still flying? What's going on? This, this guy's definitely breaking up though. He's setting a world record. <laughs> to show you how fast that MiG-29 was going. Oh, look at this, off the nose. That after he got hit, he kept ripping for like another two miles. <laughs> and just breaking up. No, I got this thing off the nose here. I believe it's a MiG-21, but you know, we're gonna get nice and close and check it out here. Uh, what is that? Oh, he's shooting at me. Yeah, that's MiG-21. 
All right, we'll blast into the vertical. I've got one AMRAM remaining. And this guy came in so fast, you heard that boom as he went by. That's perfect, because he's got separation enough for me to hit him with this AMRAM that's tracking perfectly. Yeah, he's done for. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Splash one, make 21. We gotta engage this SA5, SA3 here. Part of you kind of feels bad for those uh, those guys, the F1s, MiG-29s, MiG-21. They all had the good, the right idea, you know. They were all pincering me from like four different directions, but they just couldn't get there at the same time. There we go. SA3 here. So they ended up arriving individually and just getting slaughtered. Magnum, and he fired at me too. that harm to hit that target because I don't want to have to gun run these guys like last time and you know these harms are often kind of unreliable you know I definitely think they could be a little bit more precise Oh, he hit. Wow. Nice. That one hit. Okay, we got one good hit. That was the SA-3, I believe. So we'll do a nice little loop here. And then we'll shoot at that SA-5. And hopefully that will be the end of that. That SA-5 is the real threat to the B-52s. Just gotta get him. There he is. Okay, HTS pod has him. Harm targeting system, HTS pod, uh, Magnum. And that thing is tracking. Alright, that thing hopefully hits. Again, if it doesn't hit, I gotta go gun run that thing, because that SA-5 is gonna be a threat to those B-52s. If it hits, come on, I can see it. Oh yeah, good hit. Nice. SA-5 destroyed as well. Alright, that's it for me. I have opened the door. It's now time for the B-52s to do their thing. And time for me to get out of here. <laughs>